Hi and welcome to another Cube3 video. I'm Adam Riley and I am going to bring you an unboxing video from one of my favourite companies. It is, of course, Anchor. And it's the Soundcore range. Shock horror. <laughs> you will have seen many videos. So recently we've been looking at some of their earphones as well as their battery packs, as well as their charging stands, charging cables, all sorts of different things. But I also love their wireless speakers. So we've looked at the Soundcore Motion Plus in the past. We've looked at the Soundcore Pro, as well as the Soundcore Flare Plus. Yes, do you remember that one in one of the last videos where it had all the neon colors? Well, now this is one of the newer ranges. This is the Motion Boom Portable Waterproof Speaker. As you can see here from what it says on the box, extreme outdoor sound. 24 hours playtime, IPX7, that's in terms of how much water it can withstand without breaking, and a customizable equalizer. Bass up mode, Bluetooth, and I think this IQ, I'm not sure what that is exactly, but that could be related to the app. So as you can see here, there's very swanky design. So like the waves of sound, but it's also like water. Soundcore motion, boom. And the D in soundcore, which always looks like a musical note. There you can see an example that it's fully waterproof and buoyant. So that's what the IP, what was it? IPX7 stands for. So that's how much it can withstand. You can drop it in the water and it's also buoyant. So even though it's heavy, because you can tell just by, by picking up the box. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that shows my weakness. It's a heavy device, but not only is it waterproof, if you dropped it, for instance, into a pool, if you're having a party and you have a blow up swimming pool and you drop it in, it's buoyant, so it will float, it will drop and boing, it will go back up, which is quite useful indeed. So let's look on the back of the box. What do we have here? Let's see. Oh, can I lift this up? Oh, this is tough. Yes, yeah, so there we go. We have powerful stereo sound, the customizable equalizer. Ah, IQ, power IQ charge out. Okay, whatever that means. Soundcore motion boom is in the box with a USB C cable. Maybe someone can tell me what power IQ charge out means. I'm guessing it must be something to do with high speed charging, something like that. So it has titanium driver and dual passive radiators for high impact sound. Look at this, 24 hour playtime. Because it's such a big device, it also has a great battery inside, which will last up to 24 hours on a full charge. Again, it will link with the Soundcore app for various different customizable features. As you can see there, 40 kilohertz extended treble and bass, fully waterproof IPX7, bass up technology, as well as USB-C connectivity. So what else have we got on the side of the box? As you can see there, incredible sound loved by 20 million plus people. And I don't know whether we'd have this in the UK but you can go to the nice seaside and have a beach party. Is that in the UK or is it in America? They look British. Maybe it's in Wales on the coast. I say they look British, but I really have no idea. So that's just a pure stab in the dark. Anything on the bottom? Just the rules and regulations, email address for the service center. This device may not cause harmful interference. Yep, there we go. So that's the motion boom. Let's get this bad boy opened. If I can keep the table still. So there we go. Pull this open here. Flip the lid. There we go. And pull this out. And then what we have in here. Oh, there we go. We have the usual, how do we sound? 
this should also have there'll be a quick user guide quick start guide in there as well I'm sure wedged in here there you go you've got your regular USB to USB-C cable and then in here you have the beast so try and take this out on camera yeah why not there's a handle here so it shouldn't be that difficult he said optimistically here we go boy out we go and I will pop this box in fact you know what I will take these sides off first like that Boom. and then I'll take the wrapper off now let me just put these put these away in the box and then I can put the box back on the table so you can have a look there yep just in case you forget the sound core by anchor motion boom now let's take this out so let's pull this apart delicately but forcefully enough that it opens and then oh look at this oh my goodness wow that is big should we do a size comparison? Now I'm filming with an iPhone 11, but I have an iPhone, an old iPhone 6 here with me. So there's my iPhone 6. And there you go. So you can see in terms of the width. So you've got maybe one, two, two and a bit, probably two lengths. So there you go. That goes up to the the U of sound core. And if I go to the U of sound core on the other side, yep, so there you go. It's probably about the height of an iPhone 6 times 2. And then, in terms of the motion boom's height, well, there you go. So you can see you're looking at what would you say that is? Three quarters of the height. So if you're going from the speaker rather than the handle, obviously with the handle, it's more. If you want to go from the viewpoint of the handle then, so the main speaker is about three quarters of the height of an iPhone 6. And then what we would do there is, as you can see, we've got the full height and a little bit more. So maybe one and a quarter in terms of the height Say hello, this is the Garmin watch that I never seem to take off. And the beauty is I leave it a little bit loose because now I can rotate it here and it still connects because you can see there's um, green flickering lights at the back. So that's what's checking my pulse to see my heart rate, which is slightly elevated at the moment because I'm so excited. So this is the sound core motion boom. There's the cable, my little manual. So look at this. So you can see the, the D, the musical note D inside. I'm glad I'm showing you this now when it's come straight out of the box because when I've shown you the, the uh, Soundcore Pro in the past, I've ended up getting little bits of dust or crumbs from when I've been eating and I've been touching it. Uh, I think the same happened with the Motion Plus as well. So, as most of you will know, I am either very dusty or very greasy or very crummy <laughs> or any combination of the above. So, I'm just giving you a little roundabout look at this. So, those are like the woofers. Woof, woof, woof. They would be bouncing when the music is playing. We have the sound core across here. So this is like kind of rubberized. So this is quite a nice, nice grip to it. So the, the rest of it on the outside is very smooth. So this won't hurt your fingers underneath. But this bit at the top, at least it's got some, it's got some decent grip to it. So you can see that's total wireless sound. There's the power button, Bluetooth connector, bass up. The base up feature you will have noticed was on the sound core flare plus that I showed you. What I would love, 
I don't know if they would consider this. So if they do another model of the motion boom, if they did a motion boom that was very similar to the Soundcore Flare Plus, so there was some sort of colors around the edges, so that when it, because the great thing with the Soundcore Flare Plus is it reacts to the music that's being played. And then the music's like, boom, 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 boom. And the sound, the, the sound's causing the colors, the neon colors to uh, flicker and change and stuff like that. So uh, could you imagine, because if you had this outside, say, you're, say for instance, you have like a late night barbecue party and it's getting dark and no one can really see. Well, if it had some sort of lights on it, neon funky lights that reacted to the music that's being played, that would be very stylish. But as it is, this is brilliant. I'm not gonna do a water test. I'm not gonna start throwing water all over the place because I am indoors and that would just be a bit silly. But I have no reason to disbelieve what they're saying. So that's that's it basically. So at the bottom here, let's see, here we go. You, here's a little bit of dust. <laughs> So you've got the legs at the bottom that are quite sturdy. They are, they have actually underneath here, they've got a protective seal on. So I could take that off eventually. And it's the rubber base. For the now, for the moment, I'm gonna leave it because I will get it full of crumbs. You can already see there's fingerprints here. My goodness. Anyway, so this is Soundcore Motion Boom. You can see Bluetooth. Don't stick it in your bin, yeah. It's got a rechargeable battery in it. It might explode. This device complies with part 15 of the FCC rules, whatever those are. But anyway, so you can see import and output voltages, amperes, etc. For those people that like that sort of thing, um, what we have here, you've got your increased sound, decreased sound, now, I suppose you'll want to know just how does this sound? And that's a very good question. Let's see, does it have any power in it out of the box? Oh, yes, it does. I'll try and connect it to my old phone so you can see. Oh, where's it gone? Well, look, can you see? I've got the Soundcore Pro, Soundcore Flare Plus, Soundcore Motion Plus. <laughs> Even an old one called an Olixar Aqualux and a very, very old one called an FBP112. So what I'm connected to now is the Soundcore Motion Boom. I'm not sure what shooter is. I'm thinking touchscreen is my car. Shooter, I think must be somebody nearby. So I won't try connecting to that. Well, in fact, touchscreen, I think I can delete that. That must be my old car. That's my Peugeot. That's my car. Anywho, so we are connected. Now let's see, can I play some music? What shall we play? Welcome to this week's K-Pop Corner. I'm Adam Riley, and I'll be bringing you the best in Korean pop for the next 60 minutes. This week's show is a special girls vs. boys show.
can still talk. Let's try one of the new releases. We've got Bravely Default to OST. Now this is the main theme from it. So here we go. It's very quiet at the moment, so you can just hear me. So if I increase the volume, let's try this. There you go, you can hear it's getting louder. 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 <laughs> Otherwise, you'll be deafened completely. Okay, there's a nice bit of bass to this. Now, if I turn the bass off, so you can hear it's a softer sound there. And there's the bass on. This is a really lovely opening theme. <laughs> yep, that's a little bit of hand out. Anyway, <laughs> let me turn that off for now. That proves my point. So you could hear the difference between playing it with the bass on and with the bass off. When the bass is on, that's amazing. I'm not quite sure what this TWS button does. It might be worthwhile having a look inside the manual. So let's get this open. Let's crack this open. So how do we sound? We know it sounds great. There's a quick start guide. And there's some safety precautions. So let's have a look at the quick start guide. See if there's something that I missed. Because when I was doing the Liberty 2 Air Pro earphones, I definitely did miss stuff. So we have the bass button. We have the Bluetooth, yep, volume down. Number four, what's number four? Number four is, okay, a multifunction button. I'm not sure what that means. Um, hopefully that will tell us later. So number four is this, uh, if you can see, let me bring it closer for you. Okay, yeah, so the, the little D, you can actually press that down. Although I'm not quite sure what it does. And equally, I'm not quite sure what this TWS Total Wireless Sound button does because once I pressed it, it won't stop. Unless it will pair with a second device, I'm not quite sure. But let's have a look. So you got your power button that we know about. The power button's that one. TWS button. And then you got your USB-A for charging out and USB-C for charging in. So what that means is, if I take this, turn this around, See, look, fingerprints already. Motion boom. So underneath here is, ah, there we go. This is very much like the, the Flare Plus. So what you can see here is input. That's where you would charge with your USB-C cable. And what this means, ah, I recognize that logo now. This IQ with the lightning bolt is on the charge cables as well. So what you can do is you can use this to charge other things. So I can try this out for you while we're on camera. So this is the Liberty 2 Air Pro. These ones, Liberty Air, sorry, Liberty Air 2 Pro earphones that recently we looked at, hybrid active noise cancelling earbuds. So I will take this and what you can do is you can pop the USB-C in the back of that. As you can see the lights are not on there at the moment. And hopefully if I plug this into the IQ port, come on, in you go. Have I got this the wrong way around? Ah oh, yeah, there we go. In it goes. And there we go. The lights are on. The lights are on and somebody's home. There they are. Those are the Liberty Air 2 Pro earbuds, which feature in the other video. So as you can see there, it was 
nearly fully charged. It's just, it's charging a little bit now from this. So that's brilliant. So you can be playing your music and charging any device basically. So if you were playing music from your phone, then you could charge your phone. Now I don't have a phone charge cable with me at the moment, so I can't show you that aspect, but you can see that it does charge. So hopefully that is good enough. So let's take that out, pop those away again. I do like those earphones. Do check out the other video if you want to have a look. Oh, pull out the cable. New product. It's a bit stiff. The product, that is. Um, <laughs> there we go. Stick this back in there. If it will go back in. That should go. That should just go back in. There we go. Now, the reason why it's important to make sure this is back in is because of the waterproof nature of it. So you want to make sure that it's as securely on as possible. There we go. Okay, so that is the charging feature. Now, so where were we up to? So we've seen the USB-A charging out and the USB-C for charging in and taking off the rubber back and plugging in the cables. And also, when you're charging this, it looks like it also has lights of its own, which, how can I test this? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, let's see, what have we got here? We have the Anchor PowerCore Plus 26800, which you've seen in other videos. See, there we go. There's the IQ with the little lightning bolt. So that's so I can charge other devices from this. That's for charging this up. That's for charging other things up. So I'll get the same cable and I'll connect because I want to put a little charge, put a little charge in my motion boom. Did you like that? No? Okay, I promise I won't sing for the rest of the video. <laughs> so let's do this. Okay, so rubber bit out, USB-C, let's plug this in and let's have a look. Where does it light up to show that it's charging? So, that's plugged in. And what do we have? So we see the red light there implies that it's charging. Let me turn this off. There we go, so I've powered down. The red light's still on to say it's charging. Now, in the booklet, it seemed to imply there were little lights. I don't see any little lights anywhere. So I think it must just literally be that. So when I unplug from the back, you'll see that goes off. And when I plug it back in, the red light should come back on. Yeah. Ah. Is it flashing slightly? No, it seems to be a solid red light, actually. So if I'm charging that, oh. Get my cables untangled. So on the front. Ah, the reason why. Okay, now I get it now. You probably all figured this out far, far quicker than I did. So as you can see there, if the battery is really low, the red light will flash on and off. That means it's flashing on and off. When the battery is low-ish, it will be a stable red light and it will be a white light if the battery is full. So that means that if I unplug and I turn this on, there we go, and it should go searching. And then it's found something, so that means it's found something. You can see, there you go, the white light. So a solid white light means that it's got sufficient battery. If it drops to red, a stable red light means the battery is running low. And if it gets to the point where the, the red light starts flashing, then the battery is 
as he was saying Korea, Opso basically has run out. It doesn't, it's not there. So what do we have here? Power button, hold it for two seconds, it comes on, it goes dong 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 dong. And then how's it sound when it goes off again? Dun, dun, dun. And then on again. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. You will have noticed in one of, one of the previous videos I did a, a difference between the sounds that they make in the new models and some of the older ones because some of the older ones just go just like that. Yeah. So there we go. So we have the Bluetooth. Press it once to make it start searching for other devices and then turn your Bluetooth on on your device. There we go. When it's pairing, it will be flashing blue, which is what it was doing when it, it turned on. And then when it's connected, it's a solid blue. So I'll turn it off again. I'll just show you that again. So if you focus on this button, when I turn the power on, keep an eye on this. So it's, there you go, it's flickering. I press it once. There we go, on and off, on and off. Just searching. Now that's because it was paired with something and it thinks that I don't want it to be paired with it anymore. So let me put this down. <laughs> what it would do is it would do that when you first turn it on. And then if I go to settings, Bluetooth, motion boom. So you can see it's flashing, it's flashing. Motion boom. There you go, connected, done the boop, boop, boop. Connected, it's a solid blue. There we go. So that's just to prove a point. Um, I should have done that right from the beginning. So apologies. And then what else do we have? So that's that's basically all of these. So we've got the button layout, power. Yes, there we go. Bluetooth. Yeah. Okay. On the other side, we have this total wireless sound. Pairing and connected. Now I'm not sure why that why that is different from the Bluetooth button to be honest. It doesn't seem to explain that. Maybe someone that watches this video you will know better than I do, so you can tell me. So you can also use the D button for playing. Press once to play. So if I so if I open YouTube again and I press the D button, it's saying that the music should play. Let's try. So we have music playing now. So if I press it, oh there we go. It's paused the music. So you have to open up your music app, for instance, YouTube, and start playing something, and then, okay, so you can pause, okay, great. And then if this is a playlist, go to the next track. Huh? Right, who's eating all the quavers? Corn cocktail quavers. Oh, and it has. It's gone to the next track in the playlist. So, once you've got YouTube on, for instance, you can play and pause, double tap to skip to the next track. And if I do a triple tap, I should go back to the main theme. Ah, yes, it does. Oh, that's fantastic. So there we go. So, once, we'll pause. Press once again, it will play. A double click moves it forward. So if you're using SoundCloud or Spotify or YouTube, it will go forward. Triple tap 
our triple press should I say will take you back a track now if you are on the phone you will press once to answer or hang up if you hold for two seconds it looks like it will cancel the call and then if you hold the button for two seconds let me see if I can hold the button for two seconds what it will do hey Siri do you like hi I'm Siri how can I help <laughs> do you like soundcore It turned itself off. Do you like Soundcore Motion Boom? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? Siri, do you know Cubed 3? What would you like to know about as Cubed 3? Well, there we go. As you can tell, Siri works. So there we go. So you've got your bass, you've got your sound, and then you're charging, you can charge your phone up through the back. You can download the Soundcore app. And that's that. So that is the Soundcore Motion Boom Quick Start Guide. If you want, you can download the Soundcore app as well. And then you can play around with the equalization and other features. Brilliant. So other than that TWS, which is total wireless sound, I'm not quite sure what the difference is between that and the actual Bluetooth button. I'm not quite sure about that. So uh, perhaps somebody can mention in the comments and enlighten me. Otherwise, I will try to find out for you and I will post that in the comments myself. Great. Thank you very much for watching. That is the Soundcore Motion Boom from Anchor. And you also had a little cameo appearance at the Liberty Air 2 Pro earbuds. And an even shorter, quick glimpse of doo -doo -doo, the Garmin Instinct Esports Smart Watch, which is very smart indeed. Pulse is still a little bit higher than normal but it's gone down a little bit. Anywho, be sure to like the video, dislike it if you really, really feel <laughs> that you want to, leave a comment, subscribe to Cube3, and please await our next video. Oh, also, don't forget there was a little cameo of the Anchor PowerCore Plus battery pack. And that seemed to be a pigeon that was just falling off the top of my conservatory. Anyway, with that, I shall bid you adieu. Bye for now.